Hi, it's Susie from Nail Care Education, and today I wanted to do glitter, but super glitter, like glittered right up. You can't get any glitter your rear. Let's get started. So I have lots of different colors, and I couldn't decide which one to use, so I've decided I'm gonna do one different color for every finger. So these glitters are beautiful. Magnetic has put out some stunning colors. These are just so shiny and so vibrant and different dimensions of colors actually in each and every disc. So uh, that's what we're gonna dip with. You can paint them on and you can pick a brush up and you can dab and dab them on. But I find one of the most effective ways is to dip it. It's really simple and really, really easy. So I'm gonna put on a color that's within the same, you know, it's not exactly the same color, but it's green. And the idea is to, when you put your color on, you want to dip it right away when the polish is wet. And this is how I dip it. I literally just dip it. So try to put it to one side. You don't want to pour it on. I mean, you can, but you're going to waste a lot of glitter. Um, so I'm going to dip it like this, and I'm going to make the product fall onto it. Just sort of get it in there. There we go. And then let it fall back in. And you're going to have it everywhere on your finger, of course. And you will get it everywhere. I just get out my little makeup brush, and I'm just going to brush it off. So just get it off of the nail plate as best you can. And of course, it'll come off the finger. And then we can top coat that we're done. But look how sparkly that is. And I'm just going to pull off a little bit more. I do try to put them in the jar as not to waste them, but honestly, this stuff isn't too expensive. Okay, so once I top coat that, uh, I could wash them and get rid of all the sparkles anyway, okay? So let's just get rid of our green. And then I thought we'd do red. This is a stunning red. The polish is i &M. Okay, now I don't have much red, as you can see, in the jar. I'll try dipping it. If not, I'm gonna have to pour it. So I move it to one side, dip my finger in, and then sort of just pour it close to the cuticle, and then put it back over, and then sort of shake the finger off. Wow, that's a beautiful color. Sometimes I'll just take my finger and press it in a little bit more just before I top coat them. Okay, that's it for the red. Now I'm going to do silver. You can see I didn't really have a specific silver color, so I just grabbed this um, kind of a gray. It's got a bit of a silver tinge to it. The only reason why I put a complementary color, just in case there's a pocket that you can see through the glitter, it'll show at least the base color of this and you had to put something wet on it. You can do this with clear polish. If you didn't have any nail polish whatsoever, just do it with clear. Just cover well, that's all. This one's a full bottle, so I can dip my finger right in there, right up to the cuticle. Oh, I love this color too. Just get rid of the excess. You can pat it down. You can just use the brush. Really get rid of any little scragglies. Oh, shiny, I love it. And this is the pink. This color is one of my favorites. When I first learned of this product, this was the color that I first noticed. I accidentally once spilled it all over the floor and horrified, of course, you don't want to lose your glitter. That's a terrible moment. And then I looked back and it was so beautiful, spread out all over the floor. It gave me the idea to put sparkles on one of my desks. So I just literally took it outside sprayed the desk with a glue and sprinkled the glitter just ever so slight in the wind and it just oh it was something it was beautiful lean it to kind of one side this is a full jar too so dipping it will be easy just make sure you get it right up to the cuticle feels kind of funny and get rid of all the excess press it in just a tiny little bit And blue. This is an INM blue. This is a stunning blue. Okay, I grab my blue 
It's not as much in this jar, but it's just a little finger. And just dip it all the way in. They have a lot of fine sparkles in this one. There's very, very um, small pieces in this one too. Just flatten it down a little bit. So now I'm gonna make sure I clear it off around the cuticle area really good. So when I top coat it, it doesn't have any little scrags around the edge of little glitters to make it look rough. You wanna make it look quite nice and clean. So I'm just gonna clean up the cuticles. I don't have to worry about the fingers so much. Just clean up the cuticle because the finger will just wash off later. Oh, I'll see glitters for weeks now. I may not do another glitter on another client for another week, but I can do a glitter on a Monday and um, do no glitter for till Friday and find glitters from the Monday glitter. <laughs> this stuff is everywhere. I found it on my friend once when he came over. I did glitter one week. He came over like a week later and there was glitter on his cheek. <laughs> so now I'm just going to top coat. This will protect it. You won't find glitters in your chicken. <laughs> ice cream whenever you're eating you want to make sure those glitters are going to stay put get quite a bit on there too because it'll go in between each and every little glitter so you want to make sure you saturate it pretty good so with a really good top coat that'll last four or five weeks depending on how long the person goes in between fills it, it'll stay shiny right to the day she comes in from fill to fill and it doesn't take long to do check out the reveal shots fun doing this design. It doesn't take long and it's super glittery and clients really like it, especially for a special night out. Looking forward to your comments and your ideas for new videos. Talk to you soon.